Wise recently released new firmware to enable you to update your Wise cams and use them as IP cameras. This has opened up a series of cool new ways to use the camera for streaming and your own bespoke home security systems. WiseCam supports their own ecosystem out of the box, but to use your cameras with other non-Wise setups, it requires some additional work. Now, Wise has released a firmware update that gives you the power to turn your WiseCam into an IP camera. The benefit to an IP cam is that it gives you a lot of freedom for where you place your camera. Unlike webcams that need to be plugged into your computer, you can place your IP camera anywhere it can be connected to a power supply and a connection to a Wi-Fi network. The flexibility enables you to be more creative with your stream setup because the camera is not tethered to your streaming computer. For instance, you can add wide angles of your Twitch setup in a greater number of locations, create channels devoted to streaming your pets if their cages and habitats are in different room to your computer, and of course, add additional cameras to your custom home security system. Setup is very straightforward. Wise shared a link to their new firmware with step-by-step -step instructions, which I've included in the description below. The firmware supports WiseCam V2, WiseCam V3 and WiseCam Pan. For this video, I'm using my WiseCam V3. The first step was to download the firmware from Wise's website and transfer it to a micro SD card. It's important to make sure you follow the specific instructions for each device as they're slightly different. Plus, the camera should already be connected to your account via the out-of-the-box setup process. Then, after inserting the SD card, you need to perform a reset. This was the trickiest part of the procedure, as you have to simultaneously plug in the camera and hold the setup button at the same time, requiring some finger gymnastics. After that, you'll see the camera light cycle through red, flashing, and then turn blue or purple, letting you know your firmware has successfully installed. Now if you go back to the app, the updated camera will be available just as before. To activate the RTSP features, go to Advanced Settings and toggle on the RTSP function. Now give your camera a username and password which will be used to generate a URL that you can use for your IP cam integration. It's worth noting that this is not the same username and password as your WISE account, so be sure to create brand new credentials for this part for security reasons. The new username and password are only for the IP cam functionality to connect it to other software or systems when you generate a URL. After you've generated your URL, you'll need to use an encoder to be able to broadcast your IP camera. The encoder is the software that converts your IP camera stream into a format that can be viewed on Twitch or YouTube, for example. The most popular encoders on the market are XSplit and OBS. However, YouTube has a handy list of alternatives which I've included a link in the description. For this video, I'm using XSplit Broadcaster. To add your WiseCam feed, all you have to do is create a scene in XSplit and then choose Add Source, Stream, and then IP Camera. And then enter the URL generated by the Wise app. It might take a minute for the feed to work, but eventually you'll see it appear. Before hitting the stream button, it's worth adjusting your settings. While you can choose 1080p output at 60 frames per second, this will use up a lot of your internet bandwidth. For streams where you're windowing the content within your stream overlay, or for 24-7 live streams, it's advisable to reduce your resolution to 720 and 30 frames per second. Overall, the new firmware is welcome additional functionality for enthusiasts, and also enables wires to sell more devices to users who would like more control over their home setups. One problem I did run into was that I was unsuccessful in converting my Cam Pan V1 at this time. The firmware update didn't work for me, but I'm planning on revisiting when its solution is made available. Bottom line is the cameras themselves are fantastic propositions for their price point, with impressive visual performance. If you're looking to add some IP cameras for your stream setup, Wise now has a very attractive and cost-effective way to achieve your goal. Thank you for watching, and if you found it useful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more content on personal technology and the connected home.